The concept of sustainability has gained significant prominence in our lexicon over the past two decades, and rightfully so. The advent of electricity dating back to the first ever light bulb in 1879 has now become a double-edged sword. After 150 years, our heavy reliance on fossil fuels to generate electricity has detrimentally impacted our planet through pollution and carbon emissions. However, abandoning electricity altogether is not a viable option due to our deep dependence on it. This is where the remarkable invention of solar panels comes into play. By harnessing the sun's rays and converting them into electricity through silicon cells, solar panels offer a tantalizing solution. To meet our sustainability requirements, one may wonder about covering the vast expanse of the Sahara Desert with solar panels. This desert, stretching across 11 African countries, encompasses a staggering 9.2 million square kilometers, equivalent to the landmass of either the United States or China. Do subscribe for more entertaining videos about life's innocent questions. If we were to hypothetically blanket the entire Sahara with solar panels, credible estimates suggest that we could generate an abundance of energy capable of powering the world multiple times over. In fact, statistics on global energy consumption indicate that a mere 1.2% coverage of the Sahara would be sufficient to fulfill the world's energy needs. Imagine the remarkable impact we could achieve by drenching the world in renewable energy. While this ambitious endeavor may not significantly disrupt daily life in first-world countries, where many of us rarely contemplate the origins of our electricity, it would be a game-changer for Africa. Currently, approximately 600 million people on the continent live without access to electricity. By harnessing the sun's power in their own backyard, Africa could experience a transformative shift, leading to improved education, healthcare, and overall quality of life. Economically, this untapped resource could propel Africa towards a brighter future, with previously impoverished nations emerging as vibrant centers of commerce. However, the challenges associated with implementing such an ambitious project should not be underestimated. The cost of installing solar panels, even on a smaller scale, can be quite substantial. Scaling it up to cover the Sahara Desert would require a massive investment of resources and labor. Presently, the United States and China are the two nations best equipped to undertake such an endeavor. Nonetheless, according to Forbes, covering a mere 1.2% of the Sahara with solar panels would cost around $5 trillion, a quarter of the current U.S. national debt. As for the entire desert, the cost would exceed a staggering $500 trillion. Hence, it is evident that financial constraints make this grand vision unattainable. Moreover, logistical challenges would also pose significant obstacles. Transporting the generated energy and providing the necessary water supply for the solar panels would be complex endeavors. Given the arid nature of the Sahara with the exception of a few oasis towns, water scarcity would be a pressing concern. Additionally, the production of solar panels itself is not environmentally benign. Expanding production to cover the vast expanse of the Sahara would require substantial resources, and the time required to recoup this investment would be considerable. Furthermore, the output from these panels may not equal the initial input, making it a less efficient energy solution. In conclusion, while the idea of covering the Sahara Desert with solar panels holds immense potential, the realities of cost, logistics, and environmental considerations make it an unfeasible endeavor. However, it is crucial to continue exploring sustainable alternatives and investing in renewable energy sources to mitigate the environmental impact of our energy consumption. By doing so, we can collectively contribute to the preservation of our precious planet. Let us now explore the crucial topics of environment and ecosystems. The potential repercussions of tampering with vast expanses of the Earth are immense. At present, the erosion of the desert gives rise to sandstorms that severely contaminate the air in Africa and the Middle East. However, by implementing solar panels, we could stabilize the sand and potentially augment rainfall and promote vegetation. The Sahara with its light-colored sand reflects a significant amount of light. In contrast, solar panels, being dark in color, absorb light rather than reflecting it. Consequently, the ground would experience heightened temperatures, rendering the Sahara an extremely inhospitable environment with scorching heat before rainfall, a cooler climate post-rain, and freezing winter nights. Undoubtedly, such alterations would profoundly impact the wildlife inhabiting the Sahara, for it is indeed a habitat teeming with life. Lizards, hyraxes, sand vipers, adaxes, African wild dogs, bustards, and red-necked ostriches, among others, call this region their home. Blanketing their entire habitat with solar panels would be tremendously disruptive, to say the least. Now, let us redirect our attention to the aspect we touched upon earlier in the video, namely politics. Brace yourselves, for we are about to confront a contentious issue. 
The long-standing tensions between the United States and the Middle East can be oversimplified as primarily stemming from political interference, often driven by the pursuit of oil and other vital resources. In fact, almost all African countries and indeed most nations lack the financial means to undertake such an ambitious project. The question of ethical ownership of the world's most significant source of electricity therefore arises. Should it belong to the people in whose country it resides, or should it be in the hands of those who fund it? Electricity has evolved into a basic human right, and its value is indisputable. It would undoubtedly serve the best interests of the inhabitants in Africa surrounding the Sahara, but if one country funds the project, they will likely retain ownership and dictate market prices. This raises concerns about potential interference by the United States, China, Japan, Europe, or Russia in Africa. The implications of reduced demand for oil in the Middle East are also worrisome. All these factors contribute to a rather tumultuous scenario. In reality, covering the Sahara in solar panels is an unattainable feat. The lack of sufficient resources and funding, coupled with political considerations, render it more prudent for Africa to handle its own affairs to prevent wider repercussions. However, there is a silver lining to be gleaned from this discourse, the realization that solar energy requires relatively little space. We do not need to encompass the entire Sahara. Perhaps each country worldwide will invest in their own localized renewable energy sources, establishing smaller solar energy farms across available spaces within their territories. The question remains, though, will such measures be sufficient to save our planet, and more importantly, will they incite proactive action? The answer to this question lies in the present moment. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, and do subscribe for more videos about life's innocent questions.